Here we are, Gregory Gaultier is back on, he's got the nail varnish. That, that pathetic blood injury. <laughs> So to recap, a fantastic first game by the French general. Controlling the pace of the hitting, great accuracy to the back of the court, nullifying most of what the Raging Bull is able to do at the moment. I think we'll see an acceleration in response from Mustafa Assal, looking to try and get Not on the volley and, and hurry the, the rallies and One game to increase love. the tempo, I feel. Yeah, 100%. He has Thank to you. try and rock Gaultier. He has to use his power to push him back on the court. He cannot let... Gaultier step forwards onto the ball. Anything around that middle area, Gaultier is lethal. He controls the game from there. God, this is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my word. Down. Decent, very, very decent opening and rally for the second low. game. Yes, let one love. Well, there it is. He hit 15 of those against Abulgar. First one Too here low. this evening. Well, this is what everyone wants to see, even the Gaultier fans. He really didn't need that break, did he, Gaultier? No, it was, it was, it was silly to, to bring that to attention, to be quite honest yes, with you, right. because he, yeah, he's cleared quite it was a nine-minute first game. It's not yeah. like he okay. needed extra yeah. rest. Yeah. After the first that. game, he's one of these guys that really does need to keep focused. And I think it slightly knocked him out of kilter personally. And uh, Mustafa Asal started very, very well. As you'd expect, a response from the Raging Bull. So that's... Oof, what I, think, I think he could have played that. But. Yeah, I know. Do you think he's he's brilliant at uh, getting those and strokes? And that one too. Cool has been throughout his career. Yeah, he has. Sometimes I mean, he's had his. I mean, the ironic thing is, it's John Mazzarella. They've had their spats. Their spats. They do Skype with each other outside of tournaments. <laughs> well, they tussle during tournaments. <laughs> Metaphorical it's a tussle, a of shot. course. Although I do oh think John Mazzarella would make a good wrestler. Down. Oh, superb. Good. To so all. Gaultier did very well in that rally because he was put under tremendous pressure down the left-hand wall. You can see he looks nervous. Yeah. Just been a little bit snatchy. You know, he, is, he is only 18, and as much as you've got that fearless side, and he certainly knows how to win with being so successful as a junior. Down. You know, he can't help but he'd have been watching Gaultier ever since he was, well, I keep saying it's nearly 20 years. So, so basically when he wasn't born. Mm. So having a look back with Nick. That's good, yeah, it's clever. Very clever. <laughs> a little chat with him and out. He's going to be in his Three ear all. like a little devil on the shoulder, chipping away. Down. Funny, and out. It? Four, How three. You suddenly just get a little bit edgy. He's forcing it from the back, and he wasn't doing that in the first game.
clever, very subtle from Masao. Sucks Gaultier in for the straight ball and then switches it cross court. It's good. I think that's good awareness as well because he didn't go for the short drop that Gaultier could have run on. He went for the slightly heavier, deeper one, knowing that Gaultier would commit past it. Well, it's officially the warmest it's been throughout this event. It's close to 27 degrees on court yeah, temperature. To so say it's unbelievably mild outside in New York with everyone in, but this is the, the warmest recording we've had. Down. Errors creeping into the Gaultier game here now. Yeah, but for me, it was again, that, three. that kind of delay with the silly blood scenario. <laughs> there's no need, was there? Renan Levine, when he came off court, should have been, there's nothing wrong, get back on. You've got a great rhythm from that first game and keep concentrating and doing what you're doing, not stop and have a delay. Down. And his, his timing's out again. 7-3. So all that good work that he did in the first game, undone by a bit of kind of silly approach to that blood injury, which is barely anything. Literally a scratch. You can see, you see the court, there's another tin, there's so many errors. He looks back and the confidence now, the nerves are disappearing from assault. And he's getting more and more confident. That's four or five in this game for Gaultier. And as you say, it just changes everything because you can't just suddenly turn on the switch again and find that rhythm. And also you then got to deal with a, an opponent who's grown into the game. Down. Or not. Well, he needed that error. Hand out, 4-8. Well, it's I don't... pretty hard considering he didn't have a foot on the ground. Well, I suppose when you've hit 15 in one match at the very highest level, then... It looks as though the raging ball is going to equalise and out nine quite four. shortly. He's at 9 4. Power is just thumping that ball past the reaching goal today. Game ball. Well, Gregory Gaultier has gone as flat as a pancake. Down and out. There's another error. This is a completely different Five, ten, Gaultier to ball. what we saw in the first game. Still a wealth of game balls for the raging ball. Better get back to controlling the pace of things. Six, six the, ten, it was that hold and, and then shot into the back that was so effective, setting up his platform in the first. No let. No, he's got no chance. Player review. He's got to go through and play that. No yeah, it was a silly decision. choice. It was a silly choice. It was easy for him to play that. I don't understand why he did that. That was a miscalculation yeah. from yeah. the Raging Bull. Yeah, he just got it wrong. He didn't judge this at all. He needs to go through, hit it. There's loads of room. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> loads of room to play that. He stopped too yeah. early. Yeah, that's going to be upheld. Well, it's got to be imminent, surely. Can't see us needing to watch too many of these. No let, decision upheld. Sal has no reviews remaining. 
710, right side, right game side. ball. Gaultier serving backhand, facing his opponent into the sidewall. Oh, it's tight. Oh, it's, oh, it's very Go well played. Gaultier. This is it. This is the type of squash we saw from the general in the first game. game. Uh, clever, very clever. No let. That's a very, oh, very go. good I decision. Thought that was going to come, you it's know. an unbelievable decision. It's very Plenty clever. Front wall there. Yeah, you need to hit it. You can't just stop like that, can you? Absolutely not. John Mazzarella Nine, ten. No, calling it. No, there was no safety issue. What, you can play that. What's, Nine, what's, ten, this is a very good decision. And what's well what, to your left. This is a great decision. You can see Kareem Abdul Gawad <laughs> agreeing with that. That's his agreeing face. But uh, <laughs> such a clever serve, wanting to take away the cross court nick opportunity and caught him by surprise. Great decision by Mazzarella. Yeah. It would have been the easy option to go let ball. Well, the safety yeah, and all exactly. that. I mean, it's like it just gets so vanilla. Look at the intensity of Gaultier now. Watch out. <laughs> yes, let. Why is risk? Why is he stopping? <laughs> I don't know why I he's don't know. stopping. I tell you what, he looks quite. He, he stopped oh. on that and he looked round to John Mazzarella. Gawad was still Game pulling ball. the same face that he pulled on the no let scenario. And uh, we didn't see a replay of that, but it would have been close. It would have been close. It's good, he didn't take space there. Oh, oh my goodness me. Oh, oh, he's in the floor. He's in the floor, he looks back, he's so nervous. He's so nervous. The power there, and then into the floor, Gregory Gaultier has come back to a tie break in the second game. The crowd are going bonkers. He's just, what's going on? He's asking oh. <laughs> quickly. No, God. that's fine. You look you. at Asal, he you. looks again hugely nervous again. He does. But he's, he's trying to buy himself some time here. He's called the floor cleaners on. Oh. oh. That would have been a good frame. This is tense as. Oh, yes, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. that's close. This is close. Is there a line behind Gaultier? <sighs> Did he know much about it? All these questions suits you, sir. Oh. That's a good shot. That is a good shot. Unbelievable shot. That's an unbelievable shot. It's a beautiful shot. Look at this forehand. Watch. Bang. Inch perfect. What a line. He just flattened his racket through that ball. Pristine line struck there by us out. Some good rage as well. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> he looks exhausted. Yeah. He looks pallid. It's tight. Oh, look at the work down this wall. So good. This is unbelievable. No, you just tell it's a no let by the Play way he asked. On the, no -let decision. the way he asked is a big sign, I think, what of what he thinks this is. What, when you ask really desperately? Yeah, and you're, you're yeah. sort of half flying through the air while you do it. <laughs> Even his helmet came off it. It's going the wrong way. The d ball's gone deeper. He's been done by the depth of the ball. He's going for a drop. The ball's gone further. His visor's come off. Yeah, the helmet's dropped off. <laughs> I 
It's confirmed, so... No let, decision upheld. Hassal has no reviews remaining. And out. The refereeing all. has been very good. Again, I don't want better, to jinx it. Better line he... to the ball to the left. So there's the explanation. He's just trying to mend his helmet. I'll tell you what, when he gets to 19 years of age, I bet he can't help, can't wait to get rid of the, that. When he's out of juniors. Game ball for the French general once again. Not game ball, sorry, 11 all. So tight. Oh, it's a stroke. Video referee. Right, the, right. Okay, so this is an obvious appeal. stroke, apart from the fact that he's massively exaggerated his swing. And if you massively exaggerate your swing, the referee is completely entitled to give a let ball. Okay. So this could be a let ball when like it that. should be a really obvious stroke. I like that because we're, this is what we're trying to cut out. There's yep. no need what? to. That is not his normal swing. Well, of course if it's not. If they see it as an exaggerated swing, they'll give this as a let, even though it should be 100% a stroke if he'd just been normal. So they've uh, just gone for the stroke. <laughs> worth, worth a word from John Mazzarella, though. Wait for it. Hand out, 12-11, game ball, Mr. Asal. Just watch the extended swing. That will not influence my decision, the extended swing. OK, 12-11, game ball. Brilliant refing. What does he mean by not influence? Well, I mean, he's obviously got his English completely wrong, but it was uh, the point of was good. There he goes, well shut it out, he's finished that off brilliantly. He has, we've got a game on our hands, the quality has been all. unbelievable. The accuracy of these guys has been so good. Gaultier turning it on towards the back end of that second, he had his opportunities, but it, the scene is set for what everyone has wanted to see, an absolute classic. 30 minutes, bang on, one game apiece. Well, this is turning into a bit of a roller coaster between these two. Gaultier really didn't find his rhythm. He'd lost his rhythm after that blood injury break that he probably didn't really need. He should have just been on there playing. It allowed us out in, and you really do not want to give us out a sniff at anything because once he's on there, he's getting confident. He plays some superb squash. Gaultier doing brilliantly to get back into it, and then. All the character was required from Asal. He got himself back in. He showed why he's a two-time world champion. He showed why he's getting big wins on the tour. And now we've got a serious match on our hands. I tell you, Joey, just at the end there, talking about the exaggerated Play swing, I know John Mazzarella came seconds. in with a comment, but I think action speaks slightly louder than words. And if it had just been a simple let ball, it would have said everything, whereas it was still a reward for the point which then led to him winning the game. So I would have personally gone for a let ball instead of actually saying, saying not a stroke and then giving the warning. Yeah, completely, I completely agree with you.